I don't think my journey is any different than any other women or girls journey. To be honest, I, I, I grew up in Kuwait like most of the girls in Kuwait and I had a very active and social life. You know, I played sports, I participated in a, in a school play and bands, it was quite healthy. But I believe what was a slightly different than most girls my age was I had different interests. I was always interested in playing with technology and gadgets and breaking them apart and seeing what's on the inside. I remember when I was 10 years old, I asked my father for a computer and he looked at me and said, Shema, I don't understand why you need a computer. I can get you something else. Um, at the time I was playing piano and he tried to convince me to buy me a piano instead of a computer. and um, the conversation that we had back then was no Baba I want a computer you know I want a gateway computer he had no choice but to to buy me a computer so today I don't play the piano I play on the computer and it was ever since I was 10 I think that's when my journey began because I fell in love with uh, everything that came out of the computer and this is when the internet was first commercialized in Kuwait at the same time and you have to remember the internet gave us access to so much content online. One of the years I was playing around with the various content that we found online and stumbled across a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing service called Napster and um, what I realized with Napster was it gave us access to free to download music and everybody remembers Napster because especially when if you grew up in Kuwait you knew that this was the only way for us to own music I guess being the business side of me I realized that well I can make money off of this and I started to burn all this music into CDs um, and I created playlists for a lot of my family and friends mainly because in Kuwait we didn't have access to a wide variety of music everybody loved it I had got a lot of strange coming back to me asking me to burn CDs for them and I realized that this was an opportunity for me to create a business and that's when I came up with the idea to bootleg obviously um, CDs and uh, at age 16, I realized this was a great opportunity for me to start this business. I started taking orders from my family and friends and a lot of strangers and I uh, created a lot of um, music. All of this was off of Napster. So when Napster shut down in 2001, I realized I was running an illegal entrepreneurial venture. Um, nonetheless, I mean, I like telling people this story. It's mainly because as a as a young girl in Kuwait, I knew that I had a lot of passions towards technology, but nobody knew uh, how to drive these passions. Nobody knew how to answer all the questions that I had. Um, an example of another idea that I had when I was younger was I wanted to digitize laundry services. So you have to remember this was back in, in 2001 and two, and the reason I wanted to digitize laundry services is because at home I was uh, responsible for running errands to dropping our laundry into um, a local laundry shop and for some reason at the time I realized that this is this is an opportunity to use technology so there were many other ideas that came along um, and this was something very difficult for me and very frustrating for me when I was younger because I just didn't know how to pursue this, these interests. I didn't know how to create businesses around this, mainly because we didn't have a platform in Kuwait that can support these uh, ideas. I guess this is when I realized that I think I should just give up and go back to living a normal teenage life. And I guess in retrospect, this was not a great idea. When I was 18 and it was time to go to college, I reached out to my mother and I asked her what was the best uh, career I should enter or what was the best uh, choice for me. And she suggested that I study English at university, mainly because I can come back to Kuwait and teach at, the, uh, at Kuwait University. And uh, 
this was, in, in her words, this was a great opportunity for me to make great money, uh, get four months of the year off, and have a lot of flexible hours. And I think this was one of the most pivotal moments of my life. She said, Shema, teaching English uh, at the university is going to give you a lot of time to raise the kids. And at 18, I thought she was right. And, this, and I went to college and I studied English and I came back, but when I came back at 21, I went through an existential moment. I realized that I planned my whole life and my career around my gender and I started to question the very foundation of this. And this made me feel very uneasy and very anxious because I, I think this is when I realized that if I was to plan my life and my career around raising kids, I was going to limit myself. I was going to limit the choices that I have and I was going to limit the passions that I have and I will never fulfill my own dreams. I think this was all as a result of society's expectations towards us. I truly believe that women can pursue careers and still raise kids. As a society, I believe that uh, we put so much pressure on men to pursue the career of their choice over women and I mean you will never hear parents tell their, their, their young boy don't take the easy job so you don't have to stay at the office so late or travel a lot so you can stay at home with your wife and kids. These are the various challenges that many women face. I guess the pivotal moment I had was when I realized that I did not want to teach English. I wanted to pursue my own dreams and it was in technology and it was in building companies in technology and digitizing the, the Arab world and mainly this was because I was Arab and I felt like I needed to contribute to my society at some point. And I guess this is when I realized that I needed to do something about it. I, Lucky for me, I had great support. My family were very encouraging towards my passions and my dreams. I packed up, I went off and I got a new degree and I eventually found my way into technology. Now that I've been in technology for over five years, it doesn't just stop there. It's You have to build on the experiences that you gain. Uh, you have to uh, also find a way how you can contribute back into the region. This was, I guess, the journey that I've taken and what I'm looking back in retrospect, what I learned is it is very important for one to take cues from their earlier life and understand it so you can shape your, your future and your career. I took a big leap. I took a big leap. I left my family, I left my friends, I left my home to pursue my own career. And uh, that is the driver. The driver is because I left, I wasn't going to come back empty handed. There's a reason why I left and the reason I left is to pursue my, my, my own dreams and my passion and that is, that is my driver. I faced a lot of challenges growing up. I knew that I had a lot of passions and ambitions towards technology and unfortunately in the 90s in Kuwait we never had a platform that, that supported this kind of passion. Uh, today I realized that if I was given a platform that I can leverage and use to grow my passions at a younger age, I probably would have had a better idea of how to grow the business ideas I had a, at a younger age. And this is, as a result, I think this is one of the reasons why I believe today we need a platform that supports and encourages this kind of growth. Uh, technology is a uh, industry that is still growing and it's, it's moving very quickly. And a lot of the youth today cannot keep up and as a result, creating some sort of pl platform that encourages um, women and young girls to pursue dreams uh, and find their passion in technology is very important into uh, growing this region. Creating a platform as such would help a lot of girls answer the questions that they have, uh, which in turn will help them pursue their own dreams. You never know, a girl might create the next big Napster in, for the region. I think everybody needs to find their passion, understand it and build on it, but most importantly, share it. Share it with other people. Share your experiences with your peers or even the younger generation so they can learn and grow. Women 
play a crucial role in the economical development, whether it's globally or for this region. Um, the inclusion of women in the workforce is very significant into positioning this region in a global competitive landscape, mainly because women add a lot of new skills and value across various industries. Women who do care about driving growth and driving um, progress in this region will want to play an important role in this economical development. Nahnu Qadirat. Together we can do it. We are doing it.